Hello and welcome to another Raggies uh, beer review and uh, I suppose it's a novelty these days because there's more uh, one minute reviews than there is longer reviews and that's just because whenever I go to a pub I'll have halves or thirds and chuck in the, chuck in the reviews. Uh, it's great to promote craft and cask and keg beer at a time when the pubs really do need our help and uh, I don't mind drinking in the pubs either to be fair. So anyway, this is from Tollgate Brewery. Um, it's called Red Storm. It's 4.4%. Uh, brewed in the heart of the National Forest. So I got it from Adventure Beer, the amazing Adventure Beer. And in fact, let me use my Adventure Beer glass. There we go. There we go. And uh, great to see Adventure Beer still going. It's been a bit quiet th than they normally are. Uh, I hope everything's okay. Do worry, you know. You do worry about friends and businesses and that. And uh, I've just reminded myself of something. So, uh, yes. Yes, I need to uh, sort something out. Now. So, Tollgate originally launched Red Storm as an autumn special to test its drinkability. It was called Red October. Needless to say, it proved very popular and was brewed time and time again thereafter. Needing a new name and sticking with the Tom Clancy theme, it became Red Storm. 4.4%. There we go. Um, Bit of smoke on there. Oh, oh, there you go. Bit more smoke just now. So here we go. A cracking day at work again today. Look at that lovely red pool there. Yeah, cracking day. Got the mowing done. Uh, paths blowing, weed killing done. And uh, now, now the most invigorating time of the year is coming. The the start of the. Uh, bursting into summer and everything's starting to really put some growth on so there we go it's got a reddish pour to it uh tollgate had quite a few of their beers before uh, mainly from adventure beer to be honest orange oh there was an orange beer they did orange petter or summer and uh, that was a stunner so cheers tollgate tasting that so I'm just going to say where they're from nice malty taste to that so in Stoughton Lane in Cork in Derbyshire but it's a Leicester postcode LE 6501 RG South Woodhouse Farm as usual these days a lot of farms uh, rent out their buildings uh, as like an industrial unit and and it's a great way for for breweries to you know get maybe cheaper rent maybe <laughs> who knows um so there we go it's looking good great to support local breweries you know uh there's something that i pride myself on this channel it's to promote local uh, obviously gardening is my job um you do earn a little bit off YouTube, but not enough to pay for a bloody round of beers at a pub. And that's in a month, so there you go. Yeah, yeah. And it's got less since Christmas as well. So, But my views haven't gone down since Christmas, but I have been doing more shorts. So, and less lives. And I think if you do lives, it bumps you up more. It's amazing how Google works. Funny old thing. But I don't do this for that reason anyway. I do it for love of beer and to promote breweries. Almost always remember that. So, there's a multi nose on this. There's an aroma I just can't put my finger on. Yeah. Just washing my hands as well, so I'm very careful that it's, it's not soap coming from my hands that I can smell. Although it's not soap that I'm smelling. Anyway, cheers all. Ooh. Yeah, gotta say, 
Itinoam of Lovely. Um, oh, NDD. Red storm brewed in the heart of the national forest, and we need more forests. Um, we'll, what we need is sustainable tree planting that can be harvested every 20 or 30 years, and, and you just carry on, you know. So you harvest them trees for wood and whatnot, but then you, you every time you harvest some, you plant in quadruple the amount, and you know, you give it and you bring that in. And that's the way to, you know, to get wood, but also to, to create more forestry than that. I mean, for me, when you, when you think of like National Forest, um, when I look at, um, oh, I'm trying to think now. I think of what I was going to say. When I look at, we've got solar. Uh, panels going in next door on the farmer's field so they've obviously sold it to somebody who's putting like acres and acres of solar panels in no i nearly went for a job once looking after the maintenance side of it doing that so basically just mowing bit of edge trimming mowing weed killing blah 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 um but i could imagine the money was good better than what i'm on now but just boring every day another bloody field with a load of shitload of um uh, solar panels on <laughs> so it looks quite hazy so I, I presume that's how it's meant to be reddish poor Biscuity uh, taste coming off it. Um, yeah, tasting well. It's you know the first beer of the day, last bit of a first quencher. Didn't work late tonight, so I actually did. Not a standard eight hour of a day, but I did a basically a nine hour of a day because of what we were driving to uh, pick the van up, taking it over to Newark, doing an eight hour day at Newark, and then coming back with a van. To drop the van off to bring, get my car to come home so nine hour a day so yeah felt different you know nine hour a day uh tomorrow 12 hour 12 and a bit hour a day so <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna be knackered tomorrow now so uh, sometimes I, I i'll i'll do the reviews in front um so that if i'm not reviewing on that day for whatever reason i've still got a review to chuck on and, and you know just keep it going uh this sunday is the rag do stag do uh <laughs> and uh if anybody shows up obviously you know these things happen um but uh yeah yeah it should be it should be a good day Lots of videos going to be coming from that. There'll be videos through the day that will be posted of the pubs. Uh, there'll be cask and keg beer reviews coming off it for probably two flipping weeks. Because uh, uh, if I can get thirds at a reasonable price, I should be having thirds. Um, and then I've got the Castle Rock Yard Party, not just simply a week after. So and then Saturday, I'm also at the Star Inn for their beer festival. So yeah, a busy time on the channel. But the channel's growing, you know, it's, it's nice to see the channel growing. Um, I think I've found the perfect medium at the moment. The only thing I am not doing that uh, I feel that I will be doing again at some stage is to go back on the lives. Uh, they may well be alive on July the 13th because we will be at Cockley. Uh, I 
sometimes there'll be sun in the garden. Could be this noise. Um, yeah, there will be a live, maybe a live from Cockcliffe if I can get the bloody. The only problem, the only problem with Cockcliffe is the 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 reception up there is absolutely crap. Um, because it's out in the sticks, it's 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 rubbish. The, the, the reception. Um, but we're going to set the wedding up on the thirteenth, so we're stopping over that night. And I might go out and have a chat with the with the air farmer. <laughs> All right, mate. <laughs> We've come for a beer. <laughs> Are we out to sit in your garden? Are we having a beer together? <laughs> Hey, one of these days I'll grab hold of them and say to them, uh, hey, where is he? And, you know, he says, I want this bloody path looking great. But it's about, I want it looking amazing for July the 14th. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's funny, really, because um, at the at the wedding reception, uh, the, the funny thing is, there's not going to be a lot of my family there. There's literally going to be a few members of the family. And same with my wife as well. Uh, we're not inviting a lot of family. We're inviting friends. But friends from the last few years. Not friends from 20 years ago. But we don't really talk to anymore. Uh, or don't see anymore. But friends from the last few years. And then, uh, not only friends from the last few years. But then, the, the, that from my wife. Uh, cake friends and uh, running friends and for me beer community friends either from the breweries if they come they may not come um, and there's a few people I need to invite that I haven't invited yet because I forgot all about them and uh, not naughty naughty but uh, yeah there's a few I need to invite I've just thought about it tonight I have no idea how many people are going to come because nobody ever RSVPs but it should be a laugh in any case uh, 12 minutes in Jesus this is what you get I rattle when I'm doing a beer review but anyway Tollgate Brewery uh, I've never actually been to Tollgate Brewery I, 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 I don't know that part of the world to be honest um, but yeah another cracking brewery from Derbyshire some great breweries in Derbyshire you know uh, you can't underestimate it. Uh, even though it's Derbyshire, Nottingham and Derby have obviously got that rivalry, shall we say, in the football clubs at least. Um, but yeah, reddish poor, really nice, uh, malty beer, hints of biscuit and that. Just easy drinking. Yeah, uh, ABV was 4.4%. For me, a good 4.1 out of 5. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Cheers all.